Alright, so today we're going to be talking about infinite solar power at the poles, the North Pole and the South Pole. Uh, so a lot of people mentioned on my solar train video that if you just put upside down solar panels at the pole, uh, above the North Pole or South Pole, that they will get infinite power and you don't need any trains. And this is true, and I, you can see it here, it's working. The only thing that blocks the sun is this pillar in the middle, so you see one going off at a time. But you don't have to have this pillar here, I just like things to be supported. Uh, and I found that this is actually better than the train, primarily because it's not laggy. The train gets pretty laggy when it's running a lot of solar panels around the equator. Um, and this, this doesn't get any laggier than anything else. So this is uh, what I've definitely preferred, except for... Uh, it's kind of annoying to just build an upside down surface. I don't know, I don't like the way it looks. What I do like, however, is small solar panels. And something interesting about small solar panels is they work right side up. They actually work any direction because unlike the other solar panels which only track above them in you know a full 360 degree circle but only above them, these track in a full 360 degree sphere. So they track above, below, behind, forward. And you can see here these ones that are on the sides uh, are going to be at a right angle to these ones and they still track the sun no problem. And these ones will continue to track the sun um, all the way around uh, because there's no pillar in the middle because I've built them on the top. Um, so I like this a little bit better, but my, the main reason I like this better uh, is because it's so much more power dense. This top ring here has 480 power, and this bottom ring with these other solar panels is only about 97 power. So to get this much power, I'd have to make a much larger system. Also, because these only track in uh, you know a half sphere, if you face them a direction, like let's say I had them on the ends here, they would only get power when the sun was on this side and not any power when it was on this side, whereas these will get power no matter what, as long as they're not being blocked by terrain. So I like this better, um, except for this one big problem with this, is that the solar panels, the small solar panels, can only be printed from the backpack printer, which makes it super tedious to get this many of them, uh, unless you're in creative. But in the normal game, it makes it pretty tedious. So I found a way to print them as painlessly as possible. I won't say it's painless, uh, but if you're interested in doing a small solar setup, what I've got here is just a couple of auto arms. This one's gonna feed stuff into my backpack, and then this one's gonna pick up solar panels that fall out of my backpack. And they're gonna fall out of my backpack uh, because my backpack's full of copper. So if I just start printing here, you'll see what happens. But when this drops out, it's just gonna pop out because there's no room. This arm's gonna grab it and then my backpack's gonna fill back a little copper. So I can just sit here and hit this button, which makes it a lot easier if you're trying to print, say, 400 of them, like I did. Um, but you still have to sit here and hit this button every time instead of having you know a printer automate it for you. So this is helpful if you're gonna do this, uh, but it's, you know, sit, get, get prepared. It's gonna take a little while. Uh, but yeah, if you do that, you can put your solar panel facing upright or you know any other direction, uh, as long as it's above where terrain would block it. Uh, it'll get 100% power right at the poles, uh, and you can do this on any planet. Uh, so let me know if this helped. Uh, thanks for watching.